Hey, welcome back to DIY Sci. We're exploring the science of soda and everything you can think of with soda, how it fizzes, how it uh, reacts, what happens when it gets hot, what happens when it gets cold, what happens when you open the top. Well, you don't even have to open the top to explore the science of soda. Here's what you're gonna need. Collect your favorite sodas, don't open up anything. You're gonna need a bucket of water. And it's this simple, watch. Just take the can of soda and drop it in the water. It sinks, it should, it's heavy, right? And this one, of course, you put inside and it sinks. No, this one flo This one floats. There's no, is there an air bubble? There's no air bubble. Okay, hold on a second. This one, here we go. This one sinks. This one, okay, floats. This one, look at this, sinks. This one <laughs> floats. This one, here we go. Some ginger ale, this one. Look at this one, this one sinks as well. So what is the difference in these besides some float and some sink? All you have to do is this, pull the cans out and take a look at the ingredients. Look down where it says sugars. The regular one that sank said 41 grams of sugar and this diet equivalent over here, well that's zero grams of sugar because it's diet, it doesn't have sugar, it has an artificial sweetener. And that's the difference between floating and sinking in here. Every can that has regular sugar inside will sink and every can that's diet will, as you guessed, float.